Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute four. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? you are tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Steve Levin. And now, this is the moment you all been waiting for live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the challenger, Evo Wang. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. You ready? holiday for babies and dogs. They don't like the fireworks as much as the human beings do. They don't like the fireworks, but John, let's be real. You should be out there spending time with your family, but you know you got sticks in hand playing EA UFC Bills. And we're happy that you put down the hamburger and the hot dog and you decided to spend it with us. Couple of chins here being tested early. Just misses with that one. Circling to his right. Beautiful leg kick thrown. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, 
spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Just misses there with the left. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this two shots to the head. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. Oh! Able to check that kick as well. Oh, big punch land. Once he's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Punch over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Boom! Here we go. Back and forth we go! All right, he engages in the single power tie. Oh, beautiful combination of knees here in the clinch. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Big body kick. Oh, spinning back to out of nowhere. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, how about this approach here tonight? Technical striker, and he has gone mad. Very accurate but really just an all-out aggressive approach that we haven't seen from him in the past. Nice kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. 20 seconds left. Check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Are you ready? You ready? All right, round two. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Boom. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. 
try to establish that jab. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai play. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really shown it. What a great way of Got him hurt very bad. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, nice job. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. What a fight. Wow. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tries. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hips. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, straight right. Oh. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. Back to the feet. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh! He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. That kick blocked by Lee. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Nice straight punch. Maybe stop very soon. Just missed with the straight left hand. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Knockdown in that last round, DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. If the dance continues, will this be the final dance? Here we go, 
12 third round of this championship fight. Big kick lands. Spinning back fist. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. That was a thudding leg. That punch will work right through the guard. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice. Nice. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. Very bad. He got him. Big leg kick land. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And they separate. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. the shot. All right, single collar tie now. And they set. Definitely. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Seconds now to go in the round. Straight punch lands. And he landed the right hand there. Waning seconds here of round number three. Down 
potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire, Tim. Ooh, what a punch. Head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. How good is that right hand? Visibly limping here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Got clipped with the right hand. Circling to his right. That's a big strike right there. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Right punches there. Riffs on that offering. on that one. All oh, collar tie. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Nice punch here. Going for the head kick. No dice. Well, he misses with the left punch there. His leg is hurt here. You can see that. to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. 45 seconds remain in the round. Strike 
more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the, with the official decision. At four minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.